for doing patties, very shallow types of meats.
How about Campylobacter? We see a lot of this, by the way. Campylobacter, what do you usually associate Campylobacter with? Any guesses? Chicken. Come on. Raw meat. Next one up. Poultry. Gosh, I'm giving them away to you. Unpasteurized milk. Symptoms. Any guesses? Two to five hours. Two, two to five days after eating. So you will have walked away. And this is the problem we run into. You will have walked away from that restaurant. You don't even remember where you ate. And two to five days later, you're sick. How long does it last? One to 10 days. Um, e. coli. This would be a good one for you guys. E. coli. How many hours? How many days? A lot of times you associate E. coli with hamburgers. That's normally what's gotten in the press. Um, e. coli, two to nine days after eating. Again, I could eat at Burger King or McDonald's or Wendy's or any of those places. It's fast food. It's so fast, I don't even remember it. And two to nine days after eating, I can be sick. How long does it last? About 10 days. Good hamburger, I don't remember it, it flies down so fast. But anyway, just to give you an idea, illnesses. Methods of cooling. We all said the um, ice bath, shallow pans, and reduce the mix. Heating, shows the opposite. <coughs> This is your best friend, thermometer. You want to be tested. Reheating foods. Back over here in the left-hand corner, that would be like uh, chafing dishes. Elmer, where are you? See, you're, you're the type of person that would be dealing a lot with that. And what that's basically saying to somebody that caters or somebody who's serving in a hotel situation where you're putting out chafing dishes or chafing dishes is that you want to heat that product up, bring it up to the temperature, then you put it online and you're going to use that sterno to keep it hot. Now, once in a while, if that product is on the line for a while, what should you be doing? Checking the temperature. Checking the temperature. Now, I don't know about you, but I never do this. I hope I never do this. <laughs> if anybody does that to you, say, whoa. You know, hey, don't you think you ought to clean that thing? Best thing to do then is have some alcohol swaps. You don't even have to open them up. You can just stick them on in and then stick your food. 